If you want to see how I transformed my office from this to this, then keep on watching. Today, I'm bringing you a DIY office makeover, the young lady business way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla and as I already mentioned in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a DIY office makeover. You guys, every year I look forward to decorating my classroom. This is my classroom from last year and I always go all out with the decorations. But as you guys know, with COVID this year, it's so different and we've moved to virtual teaching. And I gotta admit, I miss the decorating. So let's fast forward now to present day this is my setup every day, Monday through Thursday. I sit here and teach the kids from this little desk setup and chair setup that I have going on. It's so different talking to my kids through the computer, but virtual teaching is just as exhausting as face-to-face -face teaching. So as you guys can see, this setup I've got going on, it isn't that functional and it's also not very comfortable at all, but hey, it gets the job done and that's pretty much all I needed at the time. But in the back of my head, I wanted to have a bigger desk, more space to move around, and then a whole bunch of storage space for all of my teacher supplies. So that brings us to today's video. I am going to be creating a new office area for teaching in this corner of my room. So what I'm doing right now is moving all of the chairs and books and things that I really wasn't using out of the way so we can begin decorating this space. Next, I'm going to vacuum the floors and dust off the walls so we can begin adding on the paper to the walls, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. I'm really using just regular old plain bulletin board paper that I got off of schoolspecialty.com. The link for this paper will be down below. And I used the stripes, but I also had the polka dots and I was going back and forth between the two. Comment down below if you think I should have used the polka dots instead. So now I'm just gonna open it up and just like how I would in the classroom, I just take my stapler and I go to town on those walls. <laughs> but really, it, it doesn't cause that much damage to the walls at all. So I'm just using a regular old stapler, stapler nothing heavy duty to get this job done. Some of you might be wondering like, Kayla, why didn't you just go ahead and paint those walls or buy real wallpaper? Well, y'all know I like to do things on a budget. So this was the cheapest option for me. These rolls of paper are very, very long and they're only $9.99 a piece. And you guys know that pretty soon I'm gonna be moving into my own house. So I didn't wanna put anything on the walls that was kind of permanent there. And I also wanted to save some time because I know painting for me takes a really, really long time. So now I just cut off the excess down at the bottom and I'm gonna secure it in place with my stapler. I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching for my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs so my whole vision for this teacher office space was to have my desk catter cornered. So that's why I went ahead and put the border on both walls so that I could have a beautiful backdrop. And this is what it ended up looking like. Now I wanna give a special shout out to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. They provided this desk that I'm going to be using. And as you guys will see in just a little while, it is absolutely amazing. And now I am just unboxing the two packages that came to create this flexi spot desk. And while I'm unboxing it really quickly, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about flexi spot. So flexi spot offers sit, stand, and move solutions. Anything from desks, chairs, mats, they've got it for you. As you guys will see, today they sent me a desk and I was really, really impressed with how the desk was packaged. I mean, they really make sure that it gets there safely to you without any dings, dents, or anything like that. So now I'm just gonna continue taking out all the contents of the package and I also appreciated how they have the tools for you that you need and they're labeled for you as well. 
So now that everything is unpackaged, we are going to begin building this desk. If you're anything like me, then you might need a helping hand because I will admit this desk is a little heavy, okay? So I definitely needed some assistance with this, but overall with the directions, the process was fairly easy. We were able to put this together in I'll say maybe, I don't know, 35 to 40 minutes. Um, and yeah, so now what we're doing, we're flipping the base or the legs over so that we can drill it onto the base. And once that's done, our desk was all put together and it looks so, so gorgeous. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. We put our flexi spot desk together and now it is time to see this baby move. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I gotta hold it down. Do you guys see this? Oh my gosh. This is too cool. I think it goes up even higher than this, but can you guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay y'all I'm so extra but I really did and really do still love this desk and we'll talk a little bit more about it later but for right now I wanted to go ahead and put my whiteboard up so that I could have a space to write on and draw on for the kids to see and if I need to model anything they'll be able to see it a lot better now and also I bought these floating shelves off of Amazon I believe the price on these was like $16 and the whiteboard was $17 so every Everything that I did buy will be linked down below for you guys. So right now I'm using my helping hand, Marcus, shout out to him, super thankful for him helping me. You guys, he also has a channel and so I will link that below as well. Please go subscribe to him too. So this is what everything looked like. I had the shelves up, I had the dry erase board up, and now it is time to begin decorating. I know this is everybody's favorite part, at least it is for me. Um, and so with these shelves that I got off Amazon, it came with a curtain rod and hooks. So I bought these buckets from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 a piece. And if you go on a day when the party supplies are 50% off, that would probably be the better deal. But I had so many markers and crayons and different things that I wanted to put in these buckets. And as you guys can see before this, I just had them in a plain old plastic bag. So this design is of course way cuter and a lot more functional because I can just grab what I need without fishing for it in that bag and now I'm adding some art to this space all the art you guys see I bought actually I didn't buy it was free online so I just printed it off the computer and of course that will be linked down below for you guys as well and I'm just adding a couple more fun accessories that are bright and colorful that I've already had. So everything that I pretty much use except for the shelves and the dry erase board, I already had. We jump on a plane now, we're taking away, yeah we're taking away, don't hesitate now, we're taking away, yeah we're taking away, it will never come down, we're going away, yeah we're going away, you and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. So the frames that I'm using, the gold ones, are from the Dollar Tree, of course. They were all a dollar a piece. So I'm going ahead and I'm nailing a little nail into the wall so that I can hang up all the art that I got. And again, these um, pieces of art, they were free offline. So I just downloaded them and printed them out at home. It was super duper easy. So guys, let's do a little chatting down in the comments below. I want to know what theme do you guys have for your home office or any office that you guys have? Let me know because I always like to, you know, look at different ways to decorate spaces. And as you guys can see, my theme for my office space is black and white and a lot of bright colors mixed in. So I took a step back and looked at my office space so far and I thought that that poster I had made was just a little bit busy and eventually I ended up taking down that welcome sign too just to keep it a lot more simpler and clean. So now guys, we are coming to the big reveal. 
I want you guys to remember what my office space looked like before I started. And now for the final reveal. This is absolutely amazing. Of course, I will probably never have it this high, but just having the option to do so is phenomenal. So let's bring it down just a little bit to a much more comfortable height. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! So I think this is about the perfect height for me. So for example, if I am on the computer with my kids, and I want them to see what I am doing on my whiteboard. Now that the desk is raised up, this is like perfect for them to be able to see what's going on. I love it. I am super impressed with this desk and I think my students are not only gonna love this setup and they're gonna be shocked by it, but they're also gonna love how Miss Glass's desk moves up and down. And now when I get ready to sit back down, I just let it go all the way down. Oh my gosh, I've never had a desk like this before. This is awesome. And I'm gonna take it all the way down to right about here. And now I can sit back down comfortably in my seat. Oh, <laughs> this is so great. So anyways, shout out to Flexi Spot for sponsoring this video. I am so in love with this desk and I would recommend it for anybody who likes to stand and do their work any teachers out there, it honestly is the perfect desk for anybody. Shout out to you if you made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys really loved my office makeover that I did. I think my students are gonna be so excited when they see this on Monday. And they're like, oh my gosh, Miss Glass, where are you? Your background has changed. You have a whiteboard now. You have all this pretty colorful stuff on the shelves. They are going to love it, you guys. And I honestly am so in love with it already. Not only is it functional, but it just, I feel like it's gonna make me feel more productive. And this desk is amazing, so I'm super happy about that. If you guys like this video, please be sure to subscribe. Also like the video as well, and then comment down below one of the pieces that you like from my video, any tips or tricks, anything like that. Y'all know I love chatting with y'all in the comments. So thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. And really quick, y'all, I just want to show off my earrings. Like, how cute are these little rainbows? Okay, bye, y'all. <laughs>